I start by grinding my own whole wheat flour, but use any whole wheat flour you can find. And then make your whole wheat bread recipe, which is found below or in my blog post. You'll knead it really well and then it will rise. After it's risen, you dump it out, and this video will be perfect for showing you how to shape your bread bunny. So you take your loaf of risen bread dough, and you're going to divide it into two even halves. One half you will divide into a one-fourth and three-fourths portion. One-fourth and three-fourths. Shape the three-fourths portion into an egg shape for the body of the bunny and place it on the baking sheet. Shape the one-fourth portion into a pear shape and set it above the body for the head. Pinch the dough together at the neck. With the remaining piece of dough, divide it into half and then half again for four quarters. We'll form two of the quarters into long bunny ears. So we're going to take two of those. Each one will divide into a long 16 inch rope or snake shape. And we fold it in half to shape the bunny ears. can give them a whimsical look if you'd like. With one of the remaining two quarters, make feet by dividing the dough in half and patting it into two oval shapes. You can kind of fold it under to make a really smooth look. With that last piece, we're going to divide it into one-third and two-thirds portions. And we're going to divide the one-third portion into three portions for a little nose and two cheek balls. Place that onto the head of the bunny. Press them in tightly so they don't roll off. And then with those last two pieces, make them into smooth little balls and pat them into ovals for the hands. Get some clean kitchen scissors and clip each of the hands and feet and the sides of the head into whiskers. Then take two raisins and kind of press them flat and two perfectly shaped slivered almonds and tuck them in for two little teeth. And then mix together a little bit of maple syrup or honey and plant milk, about two tablespoons of plant milk with one teaspoon of maple syrup, and brush that all over the bunny. This is kind of like an egg wash without the egg that will make the bunny more shiny when it, once it's baked. And then cover the whole thing with either a damp towel or a piece of plastic to keep it from drying out and let it rise and bake. Once it's baked, you'll hollow out the tummy and surround it with lettuce and vegetables and fill it up with dip. This recipe is in my cookbook, Plant-Based Cooking for Kids, which I highly recommend you check out. The link is below.